Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> What's up? Are my teeth yellow from the coffee I'm drinking? If they are, you're welcome. Yellow is a great color. It's, it's the color of the sun. <laughs> so I'm coming on here today because there's a few updates that I have that I haven't given YouTube. Um, or much of anyone, I've been working really hard behind the scenes. And I also wanted to bring in the concepts of, well, many concepts really, um, that I've been reading about in regards to business and approaching things from a more open-hearted way. <sighs> it's a doozy. Okay, so let's start with that, because that's a good segue into everything else that I'll be speaking about, all the free things that I'll be kind of offering as time goes on. I read this book, it's called The Go-Giver. I don't remember the author, there's actually two authors. It's a very short book, it's very simple to read. It basically encompasses five laws of business, and all of them are incredibly open-hearted. All of them really kind of, like, rethink, really kind of restructure <laughs> my themes of business that I grew up playing into and doing. I grew up in business. I'm very business minded. My mind thinks of everything in terms of business. And I'm still very much a part of business, brick and mortar shops, online business, everything business. I've been doing a lot of side projects that I have been beginning to reel in some income. And I'm so happy for that because the side projects are actually like, I feel like they're very deeply embodied in my soul's calling in this lifetime, which has to do with the body. And it has to do with restructuring reverence into the body, into our temples, if you will, from the approach of weight loss and fitness and obesity and hormones and regulation and realignment and all of that juicy goodness. So I would love in my future to actually make a living solely on doing that and not necessarily operating in the more physical brick and mortar type shops. Regardless, this book has really challenged my beliefs on business and what I kind of learned growing up in business. What I learned growing up in business is very much dominated by and influenced by, you know, the society we live in, in which you kind of are tight knit about everything. Like everything's kind of closed fisted unless you have a paying customer and then you develop a relationship with them, right? But the advice that goes that this book goes into, which if you're interested in knowing exactly what it is, it literally will probably take you like three hours to read it. If not, just go on the cliff notes section of it and you know they'll take you like three minutes to read the cliff notes on that book. Regardless, it has this open-hearted view of business, of freely giving and not viewing things from that closed fist centered mentality anymore. Not viewing things really from that centered mentality of fear, of if I give my time to this person, give my knowledge to this person, give my experience to this person, if I do that, then what about me? Like, what about I? What about the compensation? What about da 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 da? What about da 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 da? It's a very fear based mentality that's very closed handed. Whereas there's many laws in spirituality, in human nature overall, of when you approach things with an open hand, with that hand of connection with that desire to truly, truly aid, no matter the compensation. Honestly, it feels really good to me to have like one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. I'm far more minded towards one-on-one -on -one than speaking to people, like in a group. I'm far more um, comfortable with that. And there's been like, 
I do have like this this tiny not really tiny but like this kind of inner child like me regarding these topics when I've sent out like free books to people in the past there were so many times where I didn't get a thank you like not even a thank you and it was just it it always has like this crestfallen feeling and it's not even the thank you that really matters it's almost like this acknowledgement thing that really matters to my system like it doesn't matter necessarily what the compensation is because a thank you a genuine heartfelt thank you is very warranted of comp that that is compensation to my soul but when that doesn't happen, I have like this crestfallen, like almost like pouty mood of of being like, it almost feels like I'm being tossed aside and ignored and like, you know, like people just kind of take and reap from you and just like scrooge your energy away. And then it's like, you're just kind of left like, okay, well, <laughs> enjoy, I guess. So there's always been like this kind of hesitancy in my system because of that. Everybody I'm sure who is an experienced person at giving, at giving and giving has probably felt that at some point in time before. And that's something that I'm still going to have to kind of raggle with slash kind of feel into the layers of when that does happen, because I'm sure it'll happen again in the future. <laughs> I'm sure it's bound to come right back around and kind of bite me again, because there's a lesson in there for me that I'm still like trying to open to receive. Or even like, because I work on people's bodies in the physical world nowadays. And even when someone doesn't tip me, and it doesn't even matter necessarily. I mean, I love gracious tips. Don't get me wrong. Love it, living for it, amazing. But some people tip $5 and I'm like, amazing, awesome, cool. But then there's people that tip $0 after I spent like an hour on their body. And to me, that also has that crestfallen feeling. It's not about the amount. $5 would get me out of that crestfallen feeling. It's not about the amount. It's about the lack of acknowledgement. If you're not going to tip anything, cool. But acknowledge, you know, acknowledge, like there's a sense of acknowledgement that is really easily compensated for through funds. And if you're not going to tip, then give me a hug. Tell me thank you. You know, share a moment with me. Do something. But it's kind of just like a brush off when it doesn't happen. And the same thing happens to my system where there is one guy that I thought he didn't tip me. It turns out he left his tip in like a basket thing that was found later, but I thought he didn't tip me. And I spent like the whole evening thinking about it and then crying because all of those feelings of being tossed aside kind of came back in my system. And I was like, really feeling into it <laughs> over mediocre $5 tip. So there's something for me here to learn. And I guess that's also why the closed fistness really kind of ruled in the way that I learned business. It's the sense of protectiveness, the sense of, you know, like closed fists is literally bracing yourself for a little bit of a defense. And that is definitely present in my system. The sense of protecting myself and my work and my experience and all of this stuff because there's this sense that I need to do that. Whereas approaching things with an open fist and really kind of just standing in the center of an open field and saying like, this is what I have to share and trusting in the compensatory laws, because the book discusses like five avenues in which these laws kind of flourish. And I sense the inherent correctness of this in my system. I sense it all. Because the thing is that we can't look at it individually on a case by case basis. You can work with 50 one on ones and receive very minimal compensation. But 
eventually what begins to happen is a cascading stack of dominoes starts to flourish in your life and it can take a month it can take a year it can take 10 years but regardless that cascading stack of dominoes like recirculates the goodness that you have been eliciting back to your life there's only one way for it to flow back in your direction if you've been exputting so much so with that being said i am offering free consults you do have to sign up on my website this is going to be a semi-permanent thing going forward obviously if it ever comes to the point where i can't do it i'll take it down but for the time foreseeable in the future it's on my website i'll link the link below the consults are in relation to the deep body avenues that i've been exploring on and off on this channel a lot of the videos are hidden, whatever. If you've been around, you know. If you haven't been around, well, I've been experimenting with the body for like seven, eight years now, losing weight, regaining weight through insulin spikes, and then filming myself losing weight again so that I can take the viewer. I created an entire program around this. It's called Chronicles of Loose Skin, so I can take the viewer on a ride along with me with body transformation and really approaching it from a center point, from an alignment perspective, not from a top-down hierarchical control nature of the body, this almost militaristic standard that we have associated with fit bodies, but really from an encompassing bottom-up perspective of working with your system and understanding your soma. It is vitally important for this process to occur if anyone ever wants to get out of the topsy-turvy yo-yo dieting mentality that our western culture quite frankly <sighs> dispels us in so that's my work i love doing it i love speaking about the body i love speaking about all of it and the consults really are not going to be um speaking about you know, people's personal stories with the body. I encourage all of that to be explored privately with you yourself and whoever you want as a witness. But these consoles specifically are for anchoring points for you. So if you have questions regarding loose skin, regarding losing weight, regarding anything I just spoke about with the realignment process of the body, then throw them at me. If you take a look at the website down below, which I have linked, it's if you if it's not linked for some reason, it's evetbam.com and you go on the Chronicles tab. But I lay out the modules that are in Chronicles of Loose Skin. It's a six-month program. So I lay out the modules month by month by month, including all the topics that we discuss in those modules. And if you're feeling at a loss of like what kind of questions should i bring i recommend three questions it's because it's a 15 to 20 minute consult so three questions should really do it and the reason why i recommend not going into any kind of body stories is because it will take away time from your anchoring points regardless if you're at a loss for what kind of questions look through the um layout of the modules and what they include and see if any kind of questions kind of foster in your system from there. Uh, the other update I have is that the Bamming Body website is officially back up. It's been down because I've been meaning, oh, for the longest time, I've been meaning to kind of redesign the website because I have a new formula for Emerge, which is my lotion brand. I posted the advertisement for it like two videos ago, maybe one video ago of me and Emerge, you know, like in, in the rainforest studying, all of that stuff. Um, so anyway, yes, it's up now. It's finally up. 
the new and improved emerge is just so amazing because it has an addition of castor oil in it in addition to the already super bioavailable other ingredients it has castor oil is immensely anti-inflammatory especially for your liver and if you're on a weight loss journey then you want to be developing that relationship with your liver your liver needs to be essentially purged from a lot of things if you experience any kind of weight gain obesity you know a lot of um even if you're not obese but you have like 15 extra pounds on ya we need to adjust the liver castor oil is really delicious for the liver it's super anti-inflammatory if you apply it on your abdomen which we talk about all in, in chronicles of loose skin like abdominal massage and application and all sorts of stuff but castor oil really seeps into the liver because of the retinolic acid in it and it's amazing for the liver so emerge has the new and improved castor oil lucky for all of us emerge works in every single part of the body including your face it now comes with the option of being scent free which it does smell a little bit like castor oil or um the original essential oil version. So the essential oils that are in our merge are frankincense, geranium, and orange. And those are all specifically cultivated to be uplifting to the skin, especially the abdomen with prolonged weight loss transformation. Originally, that was that is what Emerge was designed for. But I use Emerge everywhere, including my face, including my hair, everywhere. So it's amazing for everything. With that being said, those are my updates. Book a free consult with me. It will be over Zoom. If you sign up for the free consult link on yvettebam.com, then you'll get an email that's automatically scheduled to you and it will ask you for three times that you're available for the consult. You'll reply with the times that you're available for. I will pick one and then send you the Zoom link for it. <sighs> Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you somewhere.